Now, the most famous and least understood street game in the entire world goes by many different names. That's one of the names. Find the lady. Chase the ace. Cheche la femme. It is based on the old P and shell game, and its official name is, in fact, the three card Monty. So, I'm going to perform it for you the way it was taught me, but I'm also going to explain it to you, and I'm going to explain why I call it a game that you cannot win. So, do we have someone who maybe has attempted to play the game before, or that has seen it on television, or maybe on the streets, and always wondered if it is even, uh, let's see here, um, I tell you what, let's do this. Mm. There you go, go pointing to other people again. All right. Um, I tell you what, uh, let's have, um, now you, you didn't come up earlier, did you? No, how about, a, I, I wanted you a big, big round of applause for this gentleman coming up on stage. Thank you for coming up on stage. Your name, sir? Don. Hey, Don, appreciate you coming up. Fantastic. It's, uh, it's my pleasure to have you, actually. Thank you so much. Now, Don, if you'll join me. Yeah? This is, uh, this is one of those games that is designed to empty your pocket. It's, I'm not saying you can't win, but... Uh, your wallet, you left your wallet with your wife. That's a good place for it right now, all right. That's, uh, there's no, okay, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do it the way that you might see it done on the street. So pay very close attention. There's fast hands, there's a little rhyme that goes along with it. It's very easy to get lost. So uh, here's what it might look like. Inky dinky, parlez-vous, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, a little game from Hanky Poo. The Joker's for me, the ace. For you, ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up, and learn the secrets of the ancients. Now, I'm going to leave out the snappy little rhyme, because I don't know if you followed it or not, but at the end of the day, I don't want anybody to feel like somehow I confused you, if you know what I mean. I'm not trying to confuse you. The idea behind this game is that you follow the one card, the one card that is different, the money card. The two other cards are simply there to distract you. They are diversion. Okay, so you've got these two cards. If you bet on those cards, you're a loser. If you bet on this card, you are in fact a winner. Now what I'm going to do, because it is kind of a little bit hard to follow along, I'm not going to do the rhyme. I'm just going to do the moves. So, uh, and I'll explain it as we go. Now, the way this game starts is the ace always gets tossed to the center. That's the way it starts. It may not end in the center, but it always starts in the center. So as long as the ace always starts in the center, then when they mixed up, you know what, what you kind of have an idea as far as the pattern goes because you start seeing the same thing over and over again. Remember that I said the ace always starts in the center because we're going to come back to that in a second. There's a, there's a psycho psychological reason that will be very important to keep in mind in a second. Now, simple fact of the matter is sooner or later you're going to guess correctly because even a broken watch is right twice a day. And it's true. I'll tell you what I do. I'll give you, I'll give you a hint if I need to. You ready? All right, so here we go. I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. You have card number one, two, or three. Three, two, or one. Which card would you like? Don't let me help you or anything like that. Um, you're, all right, hold on. Let me see. You said you, said you wanted card number two. I'm, tr I'm not trying to help you out. Do you sure you don't want to go with card number one? All right. You know, if you'd pick card number one a second ago, the ace would still be there. But uh, that's all right. That's all right. You wouldn't want to go for my help. That's all right. The simple fact of the matter is they're going to tell you that you can win. That's the whole idea. They're going to make you believe that you can win. You're, the game is not designed for you, them to pay out to you. The game is designed for them to, to bring money in. All right. So what happens when you win? What happens when you guess correctly? Here's what happens. So watch very close. Remember, ace always starts in the center. Here we go. All right, now I didn't, I hardly did it. I did nothing there. I mean, so little. Very easy to follow along. You can have card number one. You can have card number two. You can have card number three. Which one do you want to go with? Very good call. Now what happens when you guess correctly is there's always a completely honest looking but totally unscrupulous person who is in the audience Hey, how you doing, man? It's good to see you again. <laughs> it's been a while since we've worked together. Huh? It's good to see you. Hey, what name are they calling you nowadays, anyway? Jack. Jack of Spades? <laughs> yeah, that's believable. All right, great. Uh, all right, Jack. Uh, now, here's what would happen. What you would guess correctly, I would give my shill, the guy who's in the crowd that you don't even know about, I'd give him a little signal. You probably wouldn't catch it. It might look like this. <clears throat> And when I do that, what he knows his job is, is to say, hey, I'll double that bet. So when I go like this, <clears throat> his job is to go, hey, I doubled that bet. You want to try, you want to practice your line one time? <clears throat> All right, that's what, remember that. That's very straightforward. All right. 
So, uh, so that way, what would happen is because this guy said he would double the bet, then I would ignore you. I would turn to him and go, you want to double the bet? Then I'll take your bet over your bet. And I'll say, pick what card you want to pick. He would pick the same card you just picked, and you'd see me pay him off. Does this make sense? Okay. Um, you said you wanted card number one, right? Oh, three. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I hear a double to that guy right there. Um, you want card number one, two, or three, my friend? Which one do you want? Three. Oh, look at that. He's a winner. All right. Do you know why he just won? He won because he's got confidence. And this is a confidence game. All right. So um, this is when it gets interesting. You just guessed correctly. But this other guy in the crowd got paid off because supposedly he's willing to bet more money. So everything changes now. You remember I told you to pay attention to where the ace always starts? You just guessed correctly. You're thinking to yourself, I, I've got this game licked. I know how to play the game is when everything changes. Now, because you just guessed correctly, I would look at you and I'd say, all right, the game's not $10 anymore. The game's 25. You got to get more money out because I only play with people who have the cash in their hands. Now, the moment that you're distracted for a moment, you look into your pocket, you reach into your wallet, whatever, you take more money out. That's the moment this happens. Instead of tossing the ace to the middle like you've seen every other time, now the ace gets tossed to the side. Now, I've seen people who were swore that they never looked away. But there was just a momentary, just a momentary break. If I had to, I'd have some guy just bump into you and then say, oh, hey, what time is it? Just enough to kind of make you go, do what? Just a distraction, just for a moment. Now, so what happens is you're, you're swearing the ace is here. So when the cards get mixed up, you're not even starting in the right place. You're, you're sunk before anything happens. Now, if I had to, just so that I wouldn't have to give the signal over and over again, I might even flash the card to my shill. I'd have that, like I said, that guy would bump into you. Hey, shill, I'll flash you the card. Bang, you know where it is? You got it? Chill. Chill, you got it? You got it, all right, just keep that in mind. All right, so here's the thing. Now here's how this works. Uh, the only, technically, you could win. It is possible. Here's how you would have to win. It, it is based on what just happened a second ago when he doubled the bet. You would have to have more money than he, anybody else in the crowd, and you'd have to be willing to bet more money than anybody else in the crowd. So here's what we'll do. You and me, we're working together. Nobody else knows about it. I'm gonna cap you at 50. So you can do 50, but that's all you can do, okay? All right. Uh, so you got to do better than 50. Uh, you good for 25? 25. Just, you're, you're good. You're good for 25. You good for 25? I'm going to get you some backers. You good for 25? Fantastic. 25? I thought you would be. Uh, and 25, right? All right, so we got 100. Uh, so you can, you can best the guy in the crowd. All right, now here's what you have to remember. You may have a lot of money working on you, but uh, you're, the only one who actually gets to, you're the only one who actually gets to bet. All right, I'm sorry. Pick the card. All right, so here we go. Watch very close. A lot of moves right there, fast business, because we're talking about money. Now, $10, I need $10 to get this thing started. Do I hear $10? $10, fantastic. <clears throat> That's a double to this guy. It's 20 to this guy. You got to do more than 20. You got 25? All right. <clears throat> That's 50 to this guy. You got to do better than 50. I heard some guys are willing to back you. You good for 100? All right, you're the, you're the guy who gets to pick. You can pick card number one. You can pick card number two. You can pick card number three. Which card do you want? Hi, oh, oh okay, 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 hold on. We got too many people jumping in here. Normally, I would let you have three, um, but all right, hold on. The problem is the corner got bent, uh, and um, I, if I let you pick this, all right, I can't let you pick this card, and the reason is if I let you pick this card, you're going to think that I took advantage of you. Oh, yeah. So let me ask you a question. If I guaranteed that you would win, guaranteed it because I'm about to guarantee that you're going to win. If I guaranteed it, would you be willing to bet? No, the answer is no. You're not supposed to play this game. That's, that's why I brought you up here. You're not, you're not supposed to play the game. That's, all right. So yeah, 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 you're supposed to say no. All right. Okay. But, but here's the thing. I'm going to let you in for sure. And I'm, it's, for, it's a done deal. Take a mental snapshot of this. Okay. All right. Turn the cards over exactly where they are. Don't change the order. All right, from this point forward, I want you to, okay, now here's the thing. I want you to mix the cards up so that I have a chance to win, but I just told you you're gonna win. Now, you have to give me a sporting chance, but since I told you you're gonna win, I'm out, you mix them up, but don't mix them up so much that you, I mean, mix them up, give me a chance, but don't lose, seriously, don't lose the card. All right, mix them up a little bit, just kind of like I did. You don't have to go too fast. That's very good. Now, you can't look at them again. Well, you can't. I'm, I might look at them again. But uh, push one of the jokers out of the stack for me. Just push one of the jokers away. 
Okay. Push one of the jokers out of the stack for me. <laughs> Remember, I told you you're gonna win. Uh, push one of the jokers out of the stack. All right, push another one of the jokers out of the stack. Let's pick another one. Uh, pick another one. There we go. We, uh, all right. I tell you what, though, you really wanted that. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I was messing with you a little bit. I'm going to give you that. You can either. Uh, I'm like I said. I'd let you win, but I'm I'm playing with you a little bit. You can have that card, or you can have one of these. You can have this card or that card. This card, that card, or the one on the table. Which one you want? No, you, I'm just. You serious? You sure? Because <laughs> I was just kind of playing with you. You do want that one? Okay, turn it over. See how you did. Oh, you're a winner. Yeah, I know it's not that impressive. <laughs> I mean, after all, I told him he was going to win, right? Well, what's impressive is that I made absolutely sure of it. They're all aces. <laughs> Thank you very much. Give that applause going.